Good morning, boys and girls. We are going to be talking about insects. Does anybody know what an insect is? You might say it's a bug, but the difference, all insects have six legs. So we are talking about this insect today. Do you know what it is? You're right, it's a ladybug. Look, we could count her legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this ladybug is red with black spots. What shape are those spots? Circles, you're right. Look at that. Let's read about ladybugs by Mia Posada. Red, fiery, and bright. Ooh, looks like a good book. Little round beetles with red coats and black spots crawl through the gardens and trees and on flowers and pots. They are ladybugs. A crawling ladybug tickles your arm, but this little insect will cause you no harm. They do not sting, they don't bite. They are busy searching for food to eat. Tiny green insects called aphids taste sweet. Those little bugs are called aphids. Do you like to eat bugs? I don't. A ladybug may flee to in fear from a hungry bird landing near. Birds like to eat ladybugs, so flee means run away or fly away. But eating a ladybug is a waste to birds. They have a terrible taste. I guess they don't taste good. When a female ladybug has eggs to be laid, she finds a safe place on a leaf in the shade. Look, in five days, the yellow eggs will turn white. The hatching day is now within sight. Tiny creatures climb out from the creamy white eggs. They have hairy gray bodies and long skinny legs. They are called larvae. Hungry larvae search for food right away. They can, they can eat 100 aphids a day. Wow! A larva's skin cannot stretch and since this is so, it must shed its old skin in order to grow. Its skin splits apart, the larva wiggles free. The new larva's skin fits more comfortably. When a ladybug larva is almost full grown, it attaches itself to a plant or a stone. It molts. One last time, the skin it outgrew. Molts means its skin comes off with new skin on it. When it emerges, it has become something new. It is a pupa. The pupa is covered by a tough orange skin. It hides the changes taking place within. Its worm-like body is rounding out. Its coat becomes smooth. Tiny wings come out. In five days, the pupa shell starts to crack. A beetle crawls out with no spots on its back. No spots yet. Soon, black spots come into sight. The yellow coat turns to red, fiery, and bright. The new ladybug spreads its wings out to dry. A few hours pass, then it's able to fly. Its spotted wing covers none of move off to the sides. It beats its wings and away it glides. The new ladybugs with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and flowers and pots. Did you like that book? I love to catch ladybugs on my hand and watch it. It kind of tickles. Anyway, yeah, I like that book. Now I have another book about ladybugs. This is called 10 Little Ladybugs by Melanie Girth, illustrated by Laura Holliska Betch. <laughs> Let's count the ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And look at this book. There are red ladybugs, bugs, yellow ladybugs, and orange ladybugs. Ladybugs can be different colors. We usually see yellow, uh, red ones, but you can be on the lookout for a different colored one. 10 ladybugs sit on a vine. Along came a butterfly, and then there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. <laughs> one flew away. Nine ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar, then there were what number is this? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight little ladybugs looking up at heaven, along came a bird. And then there were seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven little ladybugs resting on sticks. Along came a grasshopper. Then there were six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little ladybugs flying near a hive. Along came a bumblebee. Bzzz. Then there were five. One, two, three, four, five. Five little ladybugs sleeping by the shore. Along came a fish. And then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little ladybugs climbing up a tree. Along came a turtle. And then there were three. Three little ladybugs drinking up dew. Along came a duck. Then there were two. One, two. Two little ladybugs basking in the sun. Along came a frog, ribbit. Then there were one. One little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze. And then she was home. Look, all the ladybugs are back. Looks like a little party. I like that book. That was my daughter's favorite book when she was little.